Hey Stampers, Gainer again. I hope my little fan in the background isn't disturbing because it's boiling here today and it's just giving me a nice little gentle breeze on the back of my neck. So, um, I've made an exploding box. I did say I was going to do one. So, I made it yesterday and I used my uh, authentic papers. I'll show you in a minute because my other stuff's on top. But I added a cutout from one of the little cards that are on there and I've done Dance in the Rain and it says spring is in the air and you lift off the lid and there she pops so it's this way round it says rain is the, just the confetti from the sky and it's got a beautiful bird stamp and then with my chalk pen I you just drew a love heart and put love it kiss 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 so the first layer has got these tiny little photo mats and tuck spots so you could add small photographs on the back or use a chalk pen like I have um, and they're just the same size as these ones. It's, I've, put, I've wrote pull. Obviously there's a ribbon there. Um, and I did these ones on the side. I may do them on the top again uh, and keep them up. Because when you close the box, some of these poke out the sides. But I've done that on... They've got a plain background so they could add a photo there. And maybe they can add some little tickets or whatever they've had, wherever they've been. And they can swoosh it round and they've got another one. So there's four all the way round up. I've only made a square one. I have not got the ability to... Well, I probably have, but not yet. I haven't got, I may make a hexagon one in the future. So when these go up, then they have another little uh, area for photos. Another pull-out tab. And on the back of these ones, these have got a little belly band with another little photo mat on the back. And they're the same all round. Oops. So they can have one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five spots on there for photos, for small photos. And then the back one has got these lovely little tuck spots. Again, you could add a photo there and just maybe glue half of it down that way you can put your tuck spot back in so there's another one two three you've also got the back if you want to but that decorates the outside of the box and then it's got another pull tab here so another two two four maybe six seven two four five six photos on the larger ones but like I say I have cut this little girl out from one of the little cards that was in there it was actually cardstock but it was like loads of little I'll show you that like little ephemera cards so I just simply added a belly band like I'm saying got a couple of these these are from the sticker sheets I just think it's really sweet and this one has got that beautiful saying dance in the rain absolutely adorable so I'm going to show you how I made it. It's so simple. And I did this, I think, within about an hour and a half from start to finish. But I was deciding, obviously, as well, what to put where. Um, I want my little dancing girl on the front. And then cutting all these bits out. So it's just, what an adorable little gift. And you could also make a box for the centre and add a loads more of those little squares the little photo mats so they can keep adding loads more so you could do that as well this ribbon was gifted to me by the lovely Karen resin rink and all I did with these was to make those little ring tabs which just squoze them like this took my scissors and I pen it in the ends but I didn't cut them straight I just glued that little section added it to the back and then that's what we're going to need. We're going to need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of these. So, does that matter? You don't want them too big. But you don't want them too small as well. Just grab some of these. Should have done a few of them before coming on camera. But it makes the little flag on the top. So that's 4. And 
and you can do these according to the size of the tab. So there's four for one. How cute. I have seen the uh, hexagon shaped ones, but I think you need really large cardstock for those. And I have only got 12 by 12 at the it doesn't take long to do these and I just thought this pink matched well with the papers so there's another four, four more to go uh, Virginia if you're watching I've just seen your message on Facebook group about the expanding wallet how cute that your husband wants you to make one so he can give it to you oh blessed he should make his own tell him <laughs> Oh, they're so simple to make. Oh, I've got itchy toes. One more and we're done. We can start making this wonderful project. There we go. That's all you need. Twelve little tabs like that. And you've still got loads left on your roll. So I'm going to put them there to one side. We can just grab and glue them as we need them. I love these little scissors, they're so sharp as well. So I'm going to pop my box there. I'm going to show you what you're going to need so you can join in. And that's for the exploding box. You're going to need a piece at 12 by 12. We're going to score that at 4 inches all round. One at 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. And we're going to score that at 3 and 3 quarters all the way round. One at 10 and a half by 10 and a half. We're going to score that at 3 and a half all the way round. And your lid, you're going to need... 10 by 8, uh, 10 and an eighth by 10 and an eighth. I'm going to score that one and a half and three inches on all four sides. The DSP for the box outside is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And the top of the lid, you'll so you'll need five. And the little strips on the side, you'll need four at one and three eighths by three and seven eighths. The DSP for the small inner boxes, you'll need eight at three and three eighths by three and three eighths and eight little photo mats at two and three quarter by two and three quarter. The medium one is eight at three and five eighths by three and five eighths, and the large is eight at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Your little mats are three by three, and you want eight, and you'll need eight at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Obviously, then you're gonna need strips that are left over for belly bands and stuff like that. So there you go, if you wanna pause. Go and get your stuff and we'll make it together. That'd be amazing. So, I'll show you. This is my four pieces of 12 by 12. I use scraps then from out of my scraps bin to, to make all the little photo mats. And I've got eight at three and a quarter by three and a quarter, eight by three by three, and eight by two and three quarters by two and three quarters. My DSP is Aha, she's put it down. These are oh, three and three eighths. These are uh, three and five eighths. And the, I've got these four little belly bands to put on as well. And this one, I've got the. This is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And it's just cut corner to corner to make those little pockets. And instead, this time, I've got. I've got four, so I'm going to glue them together so we can have a contrast. And I've got four at two by three and seven eighths and four at two by three and seven eighths. And we're just going to overlap them slightly because the outside of the box is the outside of your large DSP. I've also got, there's the paper for the lid. So I'm going to decorate the, the outside of the box the same. I've got this sentiment. I've got the lovely little girl to cut out and we've got this to cut out as well and these are the cards it was actually two sheets but they had all these gorgeous patterns on the inside so I cut the both up and I was hoping to get some of these to fit inside but I would have to look how sweet these will make beautiful beautiful cards little uh, note cards I heart I left spring maybe we could cut that out for one of the sides but look at this charming, gorgeous little birdie. Uh, live life in full bloom. You could, you can fussy cut that one if you don't want the dance in the rain one. 
and then you've got rain rain go away but that's all that's on the back so I wasn't too sh uh, bothered with those so that's two sheets of DSP then I've got my sticker sheet which is still loads left on there and this is all I've got left out of 12 sheets of cardstock Mr. Boyce, you're a diamond. Okay. Thank you, my darling. Okay. So I've got these bits, all these, these large pieces here, and I've still got two full sheets out of ten pieces of paper. That's all that was in this kit. And also, I've kept all my tiny little bits for making, you know, we could... When we join those two papers together there and there like that we could add a little strip over the top to define it or you know you can just do or make a little oh use them for we'll find some use for them anyway put it that way or i will i know that so we've got belly bands we've got the join together we've got those we've just gotta make something for the inner pieces these are for my lid and the outside decoration so I can pop these back now where they were keep everything together then we can sc start scoring and making this beautiful box so our lid 10 and an 8 by 10 and an 8 oops the daisy I'm just gonna pull my scoring section out and we're basically just going to score this at one and a half and three all round. Uh, one and a half and three. One and a half and three. So there's our lid done. We'll start with the largest one, which is the 12 by 12, and we score this at four. If you want to pull the arm out and score at eight and, uh, four and eight, and then turn four and eight, or just, just turn it and score it on four on all four sides. Have a little bit there. Let me just... Uh, Score that one again. That's better. And then our last side is four. Whoops. Oh. Need some wax paper. And then the next size down is our eleven and a quarter by eleven and a quarter. And we're going to score this at. Where's your book gone, Gina? I'd like a sieve. We're going to score this at three and three quarters all the way around and the other one we're going to score at three and a half so we're just taking it down a quarter inch each one and then our last piece is the ten and a half by ten and a half and we're going to score this at three and a half And then we can put the scoreboard away. I'm going to flip it round so the blade is ready in case we need to cut any little bits. But apart from that, we can pop this down to the side of us and wait for later. Perfect. So you can bend and burnish your score lines now or you can just cut and then burnish the score line. Let's just do it quickly. And that one. And what you're going to do is, I'm going to grab my large scissors. You are going to cut up on the, 
the right side only on each one. So that way we've got a cover, if you know what I mean. Just up to the third score line and only on the right side. Because what we're going to do then, these are going to fold over and we're going to secure them with tape. So they've all got a little flap. So it's like that. Isn't that good? And we're going to do that on all three of those. So this time I'm going to, I'm going to do my cutting first. Spin it round. Spin it round. So it's four score lines and four cuts on each one. That's all. So simple. But the lid, obviously, we're going to have to take away a few squares. We've reinforced the side. done. So now we can just fold and burnish our score lines. Beautiful. really quickly, it comes together lovely. I mean you could use glue, I might use tape or I might use glue actually for speed but before we, we need to cut holes in there so we're going to add our DSP and then we're going to flip it over and then we're going to take a little hole out before we then add the glue. So let's just get them all cut to size first. This is our largest one. Love it. What great little presents. For anyone with it who takes Polaroid pictures, because they they do make them pictures that small and these would make great little albums disguised as a box an album in a box so, last one Perfect, so these can go away and then we can just fold these over. I mean you can cut them off, you don't have to have these like this. I mean I've seen a few that they just basically just cut that off. I mean why would you cut it off and waste it when it can form a little pocket and an extra tuck space. Fun, isn't it? And just one more to go. Perfect. Yay! So the bomb fold has done its job. I'm going to have a swig of coffee. Oh, that's beautiful, Mr. Boy. Oh, my battery's going to die a death shortly. If it does, I've got my other ones ready, so we'll just switch over. 
So we need to put holes and our DSP. So let's flip our large piece over. Now our large piece is going to be the outer box. So don't forget that they are the lid pieces. So you need to keep those and that one for the lid. And these are the outside of the box. So these are going to get attached on... Let me just look now. That's going to be the uh, inside. So these are... Oh, right. Oh, we don't have to do thumb holes for these. But we're going to add this paper anyway. So these are for your, like I say, outside of the box. It's the flaps we need to add the DSP to before we can cut our holes. But we're here now, so we may as well pop these on. And I've just give those a nice little tiny border all the way around. So your centre pieces are your outer box. You'd be surprised how quick this really does come together. Especially with good glue. I recommend the art glitter glue for this. It's quick drying and it's not going to get in your way. And there's no direction to this paper. It's our flaps we need to add the other DSP to, which is going to be your inner pieces. So the centre pieces are for the box outside, the flaps are the ones on the outside. And there's the outside of your box done. So now we need to add our papers on there and these are the ones I've got cut in half. So let me have a look, let me flip. So I want my... But umbrellas at the top and my rain at the bottom so let's get going it doesn't take long you've just seen how quick it was to do the outer pieces so these are just taking an extra few seconds because I'm going to add two pieces I love that it looks patchy on the other side. So just line the papers up. Perfect. Yay! So just continue to spin round and add your papers. Oh, and then we can roughly just judge Nice little thumb hole and pop those out as we're going as well. Perfect. So I added centre pieces to the middles and then realised I was going to cut off the glue down so to say the center boxes so you don't need to add a center piece to the two outer ones maybe the inner one make sure my drops are going the same way yeah done before you know it again judge the middle you don't need a huge one just like that I love it, isn't it cute? I mean, you could get adventurous with these. And you could start adding love hearts to the corners, you know, by attaching them with a piece of, what's this, what do they call it? Like an inch. So the, they come out in the shape of love hearts in the corners once open. Perfect. 
perfect. The cute. We're in our last flap already. How quick was that? Gosh, this box is going together really quickly, and I love it. Because you, if you prep everything first, I'd say prep time just took me about 40 minutes. And then the time we take to do with this now. Beautiful. Making sure my drops are the right way. And glue is going everywhere. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Oh, I have done that right, haven't I? Yep. Drops are going down. That dry's dried already. And then if you want, you can just burnish them all down. They're all dry and everything now anyway, because the art glitter glue goes off pretty quick. Now we can, you can either put a line of glue, if you've got a steady enough hand, I use tape on my other one, but for the speed of the camera, just want a, a very thin line. Just push that over. Use your bone folder. And there's your first one done. We're rocking and rolling, as they say. You can add it on here, even. But you don't want to come too far away, because you want your little mats to fit inside. rub and they're attached already look how quick it took for that one and the others we've got full pieces of DSP so that'll be even quicker over it goes and there we have it give that a good rub in Yay, that's our first one done. Perfect. I like the fact that it oozes out because I know then it's not going to come undone. It will dry clear. I'm just going to grab my old rubber. I know we're not going to see it, it's going to get covered up, but I'm just going to take it off. Perfect. So there's your first one. There's your outer box. And it's starting to come together. Perfect. So we pop that to one side and we can grab our next one down. And we're going to repeat the process all over again. So I'm going to flip this over. So we've got DSP here and opposites. So that is this lot and my little pieces of photo mat. And these are the belly bands, so we're going to be on the flap. So you, now you want to decide what you want on the outside of the box. I'm going to swap that over because on the other side I'm going to have that little belly band and they're in, mind you it doesn't really make any odds does it? We'll decide on that now so let's get gluing. I mean, yesterday, when I was doing this first one, I put it all together. Then I had to get a pencil out, because I glued them all short as well. Then I had to work out where to put the thumb line. And then 
I'd already punched all the holes so I had to line the DSP, put a mark on there. I just made it really difficult for myself. So this way it's a lot, lot easier. So that's my flat. Get on your feet. I wish I could. <laughs> I'm just mental today. <laughs> so let's keep let's put these in. Then we'll do our thumb holes. Then we'll close up our flaps. Then we'll add our belly bands. Yay! Way to go. As long as you keep the four pieces here the same, you know it's going to be the same on the outside. And the flaps then will be on the inside. But how quick is this coming together? Nice little border all the way round. Beautiful. We're going to have the quickest exploding box tutorial going. <laughs> the best ones, aren't they? The quick ones. So my batch is looking okay at the minute. So it will give me a warning. I hope. Yeah, it will. And I've got my other one ready so I can just switch it over. So if you want to give these a quick rub while you're here. There we go, our last piece. Perfect. So flip over now. And these are our inner flaps. So you can decide you can have them at the bottom, you don't have to have them in the middle. You could have them at the top even, but then you'd, you don't want them for nothing to fall out. So let's get our thumb going. I'll put those little flaps on in a minute. You'll be throwing these out to a penny soon. Right, that the hum, thumb marks are in. Let's get our line of glue. Oops. Made a pig's ear of that one. Just fold those over and give them a good burnish. Don't worry about the glue, it does dry clear. So we've made little pockets. So instead of cutting those bits off and wasting them, we've now utilised every little piece of the paper. And we've given ourselves more space in this wonderful little box. My beautiful friend Georgie, she made me one of these about three years ago with the Petal Passion. Oh, it's beautiful. I've still got it in my bedroom. Lexi's terrible. She only has to hear somebody go past the gate at the back and she barks. Which is good, really, because she's just letting me know there's people around. Last but no means least. Battery's still going. So there's our other piece. Now you you can decide now where you want to put your belly band. I might 
might just put them on the back and I might come down a section let's see what we've got here on my little bits I mean you don't have to have it that wide even you can use a little half inch strip you know trim that down to size you could always add it in the corner trim it off do something different oh you'd be surprised now I'm going to stick with this because it's for speed and I'm just going to put a tiny little line of glue down either side Just fit in there perfectly. Just give them a little rub. Give them a chance to dry. And we'll flip it round and add the other ones. The reason I'm putting them on the back to contrast is because my balloons, my balloons, not even balloons, raindrops, some are facing one way and some are facing the other. But I'm utilizing my scraps. Oops, oh gosh, Gator. Perfect. So you can, you can afford to get it. That's why I've judged those pieces as well. Just a very thin line. time we finish with the other section they'll be bone dry so that's a godsend I know it dries clear <laughs> I have to tell myself Perfect. So this is part two done. I'm just going to pop that over. Now we're going to turn this over now and we're going to add our DSP. And we've got little birdies on this side. And then on the flaps we've got more birdies. Or you could have that one. The non-directional and this is for the base because you've got an extra one for these I have just decided I'm going to have the birds on the inside and these on the flaps so these are on the outside of my DSP at my squares Come down, get in it quick. Oh, there we go. I got that one. whizzing through this girls absolutely whizzing through so let me just have a look that's right so the birds feet have got to go down the bottom so let me just check when we fold this over, yes, perfect. Let's glue our four centre pieces in first. These are at the back of the flap. I mean, you could do a, pe a different piece of paper on each one. It's entirely up to you. Quite 
goes off really quickly. So now we can spin and add. Perfect. That way, like I'm saying, when we turn this over, let's just turn it over quickly now and show you that when we turn these in, the little bird's feet are all facing downwards, which is perfect. That's only if you've got a directional paper. Like I could say you could wait and put these together, but then I found it a bit more time consuming. Last piece, then we can clip, get them glued down and then we can make the lid and start decorating. Perfection. Lovely. So this piece now is going to, I added a sticker, remember, on that little saying, but I'm going to add this in there. I may even have that because it's totally different. Yeah, let's have this. So you'll need nine of these, not eight, because of the centerpiece. Beautiful. Whoops. Oh my trousers are getting stuck around the top of my legs. <laughs> mm. right isn't it? Ah, I, I know why because we've turned it over. Never mind. So these are going to get clipped from the top in the centre. Oh there we go. Fly away birdie. And one more. Perfect. Got all my little clippy pieces now. those in the bin and now we can start to close so down this side because we turned the card black card over that's why I'm gluing the opposite side now as long as it stays glued down that's the main thing I used my little fibre, polyfibre tape, because you have to cut. Oh, she's very strong, but so is this. Just a little tiny bead of glue. And they're sealed beautifully. love to see it poke outside because that way you know it's going to get glued all the way to the edge. So last piece. In the wrong side, that's the one that's folded. Give that a couple of seconds to go down. 
and what I like to do is now they've got DSP on both sides I like to burnish them over because it can be a bit, little bit stiff now but there we go there's our little box, there's box number three let me just pop the lid on this for a second and fetch the other pieces in and if you notice now they are all slightly a quarter of an inch bigger than each other so you can see all the ladies you could carry on going you know it's entirely up to you so we're going to glue these down and what I'm going to use for this glue is a little bit of this it gives me a little bit of wiggle space so I can get it in the centre and you don't need a lot so don't open it too wide so and it's really good it does set lovely oh stringy um, and that boy it'll give me wiggle space and it smells beautiful it's so a little gap either side gap either side, a little gap either side and just give that a rub. You can still move this so you have to let this set and then this one as well. I know I'm just about to glue over it but it's me. But I saved this rubber for black cardstock because I would not use that now on white. Fiona, yes my darling, I want to use this for albums. It's awesome. So again, a little gap either side. A little gap either side. Whoops, see it still gives you wiggle space. And then you can push that down. There we go, and it all stands up beautifully. And look at that, you could pop another little box like I'm saying inside with a little lid on with some little photo mats so they could add loads and loads and loads and loads. So you could get quite a lot in this. So I'm going to pop this to one side just while it dries off. Now, our lid. We need to remove these three squares and mitre slightly. So let me just show you. So I'm going to take a small slither from there and remove that, that, and a small slither from there. And then we want to mitre these sides as well. So can you see that? So that's what we're going to do on all four corners. So I'm going to use these scissors for this. Just because I've got a longer reach than my little ones. So. Repeat that on all four sides. Oops. Can't want to see this. Perfect. That's 
Uh, I thought I was going to do Lally then. I do apologise about that. My battery just died to death. Continue to cut round our pieces now. God blimey, these scissors. Perfect. Last one. And just remove that that side. Just removing the score line. and our way to go so we don't need those bits we can take them out of the equation throw them away so I know I've just drawn on them but and that we're going to cover it up but I uh, you never know we might see it so I sooner take it off than take any chances. So now we can just fold and burnish and then we can pop our lid together. I'm going to strengthen them sides. made lids how many times I don't know <laughs> but I made this ten and a quarter by ten and a quarter and scored at one and a half and three so I would have four and an eighth in the middle to give me um okay let's close that back up I try it's clear as well so let's pull our flaps over and we're just going to go back to the art glitter glue which is quicker for me and um, I'm just going to glue our flaps try and keep it right the way to the edge you won't see these flaps in a minute because they're going to get tucked in there but you want it all the way to the end Beautiful. Just give that a few seconds to go off. Get a burnish. Perfect. Let's do the next side. Again, form that square. Just burnish. Perfect. Lovely corners. And I've got to glue this one as well because I don't want to pull it out and then tuck it back in. So that is going to fold over there and that is going to fetch that up to there. Beautiful. And then that one is going to fold up to there. Just beautiful. Nice and square. You check any little areas where you, you don't want those blocks coming undone. So check that it's all glued 
in a place. Perfect. Perfect. Right, you're just going to pull it flat out of the way now, just for a second. I can go round and burnish those. And then we can glue these flat tips. These will strengthen the side of the lid as well. So, just pop that down, pop your bone folder in. Beautiful sturdy box. And the mitering of the sides stops all that bulk in the corner. So if you begin it and you're making boxes, you just don't want straight lines. You want to be able to tuck it nice and neatly so there's nothing catching. Beautiful, nice and sturdy, lovely. Uh, last flap now, and it also these flaps then hide those inner flaps that we use to secure the box down. So nothing will catch on those either. So that's another reason we like to reinforce our boxes for strength and to stop anything from catching. Nice and straight. I don't like to lift these up and then because you can have chances of them bowing, so that's why I like to burnish them while they're on a flat. Perfect. Now our lid is nice and square. Let's grab our DSP pieces. You could decorate the inside of the lid if you want. I'm not going to. Beautiful, and again it's three and seven eighths because it's a four inch box. And then we've got our stri uh, stripes on the side. I love the stripes. I like stripes going stripey ways. Because it's four and one eighth, I should have maybe cut these to four by one and three eighths. But it doesn't matter. Perfect. And this is just the opposite of that flower paper. So cute. So yeah, didn't you've got three layers there with the DSP and the cardstock. So it's really strong. And last but no means least. going to pop the lid on this for a second. I hope this fan isn't bugging you. It's keeping me nice and cool. So fetch our box in which is, should be nice and glued by now. Oh yes. And we're just going to test the sides 
and our lid. And there it fits on there beautifully. It's not coming off, it's snug, it's gorgeous. Just look like the ordinary gift box, but when you start adding photos then the weight will be fabulous. But isn't that just gorgeous? Love it. So let's get some more decorating done. Oops. <laughs> so let's cut this out. I just followed the lines, left a border. You know, it's not going to be the best in the world. And I did add a, have it on dimensionals. To make it pop off the top of the box. But it's done in no time. I think it gets itself into more awkward spots than anything. That's it. Let me just trim around there. That's it, get that off out of the way. Cute. And then with the air, I just Straighten that up now, cut it off. That's better. And I just followed the line for this to get that wavy pattern. And then up there. And I just followed it back down. And then what I did then, I just pen it at the end. Oh, there we go. So, air, love is in, it is in. A little flower going down that side. And then spring. Just following the words around. looks so cute when it's done and because this collection is all from the same papers it just matches beautifully Isn't that cute? Spring is in the air. So while we've got that out, we're going to cut this out as well. Again, just leaving a little border all the way around. I'm not even doing anything fancy, just trimming it out. If it gets in your way, nip it off.
decorate the outside. I'm going to give it loads of lavish and decoration on the inside, so we may as well just add a bit on the outside as well. Last little bit. Perfect. And for our little girl. Now, I did try and cut round. I will try now and do it, I promise. Uh, I don't want any of the other stuff showing, so... Oh, it doesn't matter if I get a little border, does it? Just go round. Bugs me when it gets in the way of the paper, so I have to go and cut it off. Try and keep that splash this time. Concentration on my face, tongue sticking out, everything goes. Ah. <laughs> Because I tried to start at the splash, it really got me air off. So in the end, I cut it off and I just shouldn't really, I want to keep it in. So maybe I should just fussy cut around. Go back over the little bits then. Way. Nearly done. Oh, and that's cute. Most of our fussy cuttings done. A little ponytail, she looks like she's splashing in muddy puddles. Pepper pig with it. Oh, I don't know. I don't watch children's programs. Unless it's a film. I like films. Close to her throat, then. So we're on the last stretch. Oh, let's get that little piece off. There we go. Yay! Oh. Fabulous. Let's get rid of all these bits out of the way. My craft room floor needs hoovering, Mr. Boyce. So, I want <laughs> Mr. Boyce. Oh, I can't do the hoovering. So, let's just pop some dimensionals. Get three on this one. Let's arrange our flower first. I need a large one on the top. I've got some little half pieces here that will go on the stem. Might even just get away with a little piece down there. Oh yeah, perfect. Wicked. Let's get our tub. Just attach that up there. This is just gonna be so cute. So 
couple of pieces on here. I'm just going to do a snip. piece now and I'm cut some more in half. That piece can go right up there. Take the backs off while we're here. Oh I'll tell you about the heat coming through this window. A little fan arm is beautiful. Now, oh. spring is in. How lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? And I've just got some pearls there. I'm going to grab one of these. This is Light Poppy Parade. I think that's going to look gorgeous. I didn't do it on the other one, but let's do another one while we're here then. <laughs> Pokey tool. Just pop that on the centre of that beautiful flower. And on this one as well. Loading box. Oh my goodness. Perfect. So, can you see the ribbon poking outside? This is why I've gone and did it differently this time. And I tell you what, we haven't done our friendship quote. So, let's get this one. A friend is the first one to walk in when everyone else is walking out. Perfect. Love it. So that's going to go in my little tub. Oh, I didn't open one yesterday either. Forgot on yesterday's video. So let's get another one. Let's go for this white one here. And a friend is someone who knows what you are saying even though you're not talking. Perfect quotes. These are. I love this. Absolutely love it. So, next video will be tomorrow. So, let's write. I want this on the front. So, I'm going to glue that on there. And it also adds a bit of decoration. Because your lid will go over the top of it a little bit, so just try and get it glued as far down the bottom end as possible. Isn't that gorgeous? And don't have any bits sticking up. And this one I popped on the back. Again, you're going to have the lid going over the top, so make sure you glue all the way to the edges at 
the top end. I've got a little tiny piece dangling out there. And then this, again, keep it towards the bottom. Isn't that cute? Love it. Right, now we're going to just pop that to one side. I am going to attach these gorgeous little these corners and they are exactly the same size just cut from corner to corner and then again just glue along the bottom and the side right on the edge just to give that tuck spot Perfect. So we've got a belly band, got our tuck spot. We've just got to figure something out for these. And we've done it in real time, but a very quick exploding box. Start to finish in real time. Not none of this speedy up stuff. I love stripes. Got our little mats here now, and we can just tuck those in as we're going along as well. And in the top, but we're going to do our bows for those in a moment. The ribbon, so I'm not pushing them all the way in yet. Oh, the sun's gone behind the cloud now. Do fit, trust me. I just want a bit of help. So, one for the top. And our last little tuck spot. I'm going right along the edge. Perfect. Now we've got our little two there. Again in the top. Belly band and in the top. Perfect. Straighten those up in a moment. The one for the top. And 
And then our little ones then. Because they got glued down one side, go to the side that isn't glued and push it in and then it'll go all the way down. We've just got to make some little tuck areas for these now. right I've got four <laughs> so let me just have a quick gander on this one we had little side pockets on these so I'm just gonna grab my scraps up here and we're gonna add little side pockets Oh, we're going to pop them down the bottom this time. I don't even need them that wide. So I've got all these squares here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make sure they are all cut at... Uh, Three and three eighths. So three oops, and three eighths, which they are. And I'm going to take those down to just to one and a half. These are three and three eighths as well. And one is, so I'm going to make sure. Yep, one and a half this. And then. using up scraps we're not you we're not wasting nothing because we had them in our little scraps bin anyway what have i done wrong there and i've cut that one to one and a quarter so i'm gonna have to cut these to one and a quarter now oh gainy a silly sausage Done, girls! Yay! And then we're going to just glue the three edges so, yeah, just use scraps. Perfect. And then we can glue our ribbons in, and we're done. rub those out later. less but no means least just 
thin line, you don't need nothing major, so you want your little bits to fit in. Da 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 Get up, don't work too hard. Right, now for our little ribbons. Cha ching So fetch them over. You could staple them, I think it looks ugly. A little bit of glue and they dry in no time. So stand your flap up. I am covered in glue. Watch this now, let's get it gone. There we go. My coffee's gone cold. Mmm. So, grab your little piece of ribbon. Just going to glue the front because we want our spots at the front. Pop it on. It takes seconds to dry. Especially with this glue. Oh, gather where your paper's going to go. Just keeping it straight. And then when you're done, just pop it in. Give them five minutes to dry. And then you can tug on them. Just tap them into place with your fingers then. Just get them back in. I don't know what that is. There it goes, gone. So we've done those sides. That could have been a bit more in the middle eight gainer. That's better. Perfect. Ah, oh, do apologise. I've got a bit of a sniffle going on. So, have a look. Grab your glue. You don't need a lot. Lift it up. Lines up beautiful. Just leave it a second then to dry. Oh, excuse me. I'm only adding about five drops. You don't need a lot. Making sure it's nice and straight. Just don't want any glue. I feel that if, once it's dry, you can just slide it in. Perfect. Perfect. And then 
just slide them over. There we go. We're rocking and rolling now, ladies. Because I know that it's not glued that side, I just want to glue that on where it's going to go in the centre. Beautiful. Four more to go after the bit, or three more to go after this one. Then we can get our stickers and add them. Lovely. Last row. I've had so much fun making these. I might put them up for prizes. So sweet. piece now, yay! Nothing majorly. Right, just line it up. Know where your target is. I don't know when they pull them out, they won't be in the centre, but if it lines up in there, then it's brilliant. I'm going to go do away with the glue for a minute. I'm coming in with my chalk pen. And I'm just going to write pull. So cute. I know they'll know what to do when it's, we've got a ribbon there, but it just looks quirky. Don't you think? Cute. Right, grab some stickers now. This is where we can go to town now and really add some splash. Love it. So this centre piece, where's the front? That's my little front bit. So my paper's the right way around. Uh, beautiful spring comes and nature resumes her loveliness. Pop that towards the top. Beautiful. I want to add little things now, so I've got nice little this note 
love this and I can still add a little photo on there This day, this life, love this, note this, isn't that beautiful? And what have we got now for the next pieces? A bit plain, so now we can jazz these up with a gorgeous sticker. So, let's bring it in there. Gorgeous postage stamp here as well. Oops. It's a beautiful day. And this one. A rainbow in somebody else's clouds, isn't that gorgeous? I'm just gonna pop that under there as well. Beautiful, right? Anything small, right? I've got these beautiful little, red, little round stickers, and I'm just gonna pop them on the corners of the back mats. Just so cute. Oh, I hope I haven't glued that in there now. That's better. Woo. Oh, that's got a pencil mark on. I'll get that off after. And another one here. Put this one. back. Oh. Uh, oh, along the lid as well, I want this. It says, love this season. It's not cute. Oh my goodness. Just looking. You could add some gorgeous flowers in there. Now, in fact, I might just do that actually. Let me just grab them. I've got these beautiful flowers, and I think they will go well with the colours. I'm just going to cut them off. I'll glue them in temporary now, but I'll glue them in with my hot glue gun later. They probably will stay with uh, this, but if they don't, I'll re glue them. So just add a lash. And what I should have done first was press that metal thing down. That's it. So I'm just going to gather these in the corner. Just give them a few seconds to go off. So I'm just curling over that metal piece. That will keep my flower intact. Break my nails but I'm 
see that? Break my nails. Oh, it will stay, but just have to leave it a little bit longer. But I will get my hot glue gun out, I think. Looks a little battered, this one. a little bit closer to that one. That's it. I'm going to leave those to dry, which I think they will beautifully. Glue off my fingers. You know me, girls, are going to finish with a bit of Winker Stella. Oops, stay still, flower. I need to make another mixture up. Perfect. Love it. So there is my little exploding. Like that will dry. pop up my exploding box. Oh, bits perfect. So there's one and then there's the other one with the pokey outsides. <laughs> but there we have it. There is that beautiful, beautiful uh, box done in real time. Exploding box done in real time. Decoration, stickers, mats everything start to finish i hope i didn't bore you too much <laughs> fingers crossed i didn't so if you enjoyed the video please i would love a thumbs up and a share if you're new to my channel i would really appreciate if you press the subscribe button as well and don't forget the little bell because we uh i do uplift uh, uplift upload every single day so if you want to see what i'll make tomorrow don't forget Press the bell and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for watching. Bye.